There's the smell. Hey guys, happy Sunday, happy snow day. We are, we're not snowed in, but when it snows, we stay in. <laughs> I'm glad it's a Sunday. Of course, it'll be on the ground when I've got to go to work in the morning. But anyway, we are going to make a cast iron skillet chicken pot pie. And um, I'm going to show you the ingredients real quick. <clears throat> Sorry. So you're going to need chicken. You can use any kind of chicken you want. I'm just going to use canned chicken chicken broth, salt, pepper, heavy whipping cream, an egg, an onion, peas and carrots, celery, olive oil, flour, can of biscuits. So you guys notice everything says best choice. Um, I went to a different store yesterday and not Walmart. So to get the bulk of what I needed. And I was going there to see if it was more affordable, but in fact it was not. Walmart's more affordable and it's closer. Um, but I did get a few things for the pot pie. Um, did I say you need olive oil too? You need that. Anyway, you can use whatever chicken you want and we're gonna get this started. I wanted to show you guys this. I just chopped that little onion and a stalk and a half of celery. Um, this cutting board is disposable. It's by Dixie. Um, I found this. Um, they come in a pack of 10 disposable cutting boards for $1.29 at Aldi. Did I need them? No. Do I love it? Yes. I have nine more up in the cabinet. And I just, I just about had to come apart when I saw them. I've never um, seen disposable cutting boards. And it's nothing more than just like a real sturdy paper plate. Um, but I love it. Talk about easy cleanup. Okay. I was excited. Let's get this stuff in the skillet. Okay, we got our olive oil going in our cast iron. We're going to make the whole pot pie in here. So we are going to put in our, put this in first, celery and onion. frozen peas and carrots. You put whatever veggies you want in there. We're going to put some pepper. I refilled my pepper shaker. Salt. We're going to put in some seasonal. Because why not? It's not gone. I need another one. It is gone. In a little bit of time. I think this is supposed to go on before you put it in um, the oven, but we're gonna do while we're cooking and before we put it in the oven for more flavor. Now, if you're using raw chicken, um, you want to cook your chicken up first, but I'm just using canned chicken. So, when this is almost done, we'll put that canned chicken in and uh, get it warmed up. But we want to cook these down first. So we'll let that cook. I'll be back. I don't know if I told you guys, preheat your oven to 350, I think. I will link the um, recipe below. All right, we are going to add in three tablespoons of flour. Okay. 
Let that cook for a minute. And we're going to add in two cups, or a can, 15 ounce can of chicken broth. cook. We're going to add our chicken. Let this thicken up. I don't know how much chicken it called for because the recipe tells you to get chicken breast and cook your own chicken. So I'm just, I'm winging it, I just two cans. We may have to add a little bit more flour. This doesn't thicken up. We will add a little bit. We don't want it getting doughy on us, but we do want it to thicken up. I'm not a huge fan of canned chicken unless I'm cooking with it. What did I make the other day with canned? Oh, I made uh, chicken tortilla soup the other day with canned chicken, and it tasted, it was delish. So I was like, I'm just gonna cut corners and do canned chicken again this time. Just so much easier, just makes your life easier. Okay, it's thickening up, it looks like. I'll let that cook a little bit longer, and we'll come back and add the cream. I'm making a mess here. Okay, and it's gonna call for two tablespoons of uh, heavy cream. Get this going. I hate these little things. Turn this heat down. I wonder why it only calls for two tablespoons. That doesn't seem like much, but it's okay. The rest of this will save for coffee or I'll find another recipe that calls for heavy cream. The only time I ever buy this is if I'm cooking or my sister's coming to town because she drinks this in her coffee every day. Oh, that's looking good, y'all. I told Shane, be careful. This is going to be good because it's made with love. Food always tastes better when it's made with love. Okay, let me let this simmer, cook, and marry together, and I'm gonna get our biscuits ready. And I'm gonna go ahead and turn the heat off because it will continue to cook. You're gonna need a little egg wash to brush over the top of your biscuits too, so. Get you a little bowl with one egg. And whip it up. Isn't that cute? Nope, they didn't come together. It just matches. I love these little utensils. I love them. Bip, 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 bip. Okay, we'll be back. We gotta get our biscuits ready. on its own. Keep them in the fridge until you're ready to use them. Okay, so you're going to want not the whole biscuit. They say you're going to want to cut them, but I don't know if this is going to be, oh yeah, it's no big deal. Make them a little thinner. Okay, I got the flaky biscuits. Onion string. Keep them cold. Keep them cold. Mm. 
You need a good knife. This is a good little knife. If your knife is dull, you're going to have a real hard time. You guys remember that recipe I made with crescents and I didn't keep them in the fridge the whole time until I was ready to use them and I mean the recipe came out good but the crescents weren't real cold the dough was cold but not cold enough so it was harder to work with so I learned quick and in a hurry that recipe that you keep your dough in the fridge get a good knife. Alright. Okay, this thickened up pretty good. So we're gonna lay these over the top. You're going to need the whole can. Isn't that pretty? That is so pretty. Okay, I got a few little doughs left. That's okay. All right, let's get our egg wash. Oh, please. Little brush to make it shiny and glazy and pretty. Not too much, you don't want scrambled eggs on your biscuits. This is so easy, especially if you cut corners like I did. Because you can, you know, you can, you can get crazy and make your own biscuit dough. And you can cook up your own raw chicken. You can slice up a carrot. You can grow your own peas if you want to. But I'm trying to, I'm trying to cut corners. I think that's good, don't you? Ah. You know what? We didn't do sprinkle with some more time and make it pretty. a little bit. Make it pretty. Put it in the oven. Okay. Wait till your biscuits are done. Oh, hi. Here I am. I haven't got on here because um, I'm still in my jammies and I <laughs> haven't done anything with myself today. That's okay. Woo, you guys. <laughs> it almost burned. It's a little golden, but it smells amazing and it's it's a little darker than I would have liked, but it's not burnt, so we're good. And it I can't wait to try it. It is hot, hot, hot. Let's try it. Let's try it. Shane is upstairs taking a nap, so he'll eat some when he gets down here after he wakes up. Get some of that yummy 
goodness in there. Ooh. Yes, please. I really wasn't going to get on camera because I am a mess, but it's okay. <laughs> let's give it a, let's give it a go. Let's see what we got. That is good. <laughs> That's good, y'all. Definitely cut your biscuits in half. Mm, 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 mm. It's a little salt. That's good. Thanks for hanging out with me. I love you guys. The Lord loves you more. See you in the next video.